I want you to share this video. I want you to leave your opinion. Please, on the comment section, you know when I'm doing my videos, I don't like to read comment because it would distract me. Okay. Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining. This video I'm going to play to you now. It's about a lady saying you should not check your husband's phone. Okay, so I want you to listen and then I'll come back. Don't let that phone wreck your home. So many times women want to find out, well, who's he talking to? What's he doing? Listen, if a man is a good provider and a good father, stop worrying about what he is doing. As my father once said that if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. And then what you're going to do when you get a hold of it, take that extra time that you want to snoop and invest it in yourself. Go work out. Work with your children. Make your home a pleasant place for you to be and for your children to be. Listen, you cannot miss what you cannot measure. Stop going to look for trouble. Because what you're going to do is you're going to give the keys to your kingdom to the outside woman. Let that clean up woman stay out there. That's her job to clean up the leftovers. But remember, what's on this phone can wreck your home. The choice is yours. Leave it alone. So you've listened to the video. She started with don't let that phone wreck your home. I literally want to play the video now and then hey, my opinion about this. Remember, I'll be queen of Ashawo. Remember, I'll be queen of fucky, 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 fucky. Okay, so don't forget that part. But I have my opinion about this video. Let me play it and explain to you and tell you what my opinions are, okay? Don't let that phone wreck your home. So many times women want to find out, well, who's he talking? So many times women want to find out who is he talking to? Listen, my darling, I want you to think about this. Don't be so caught up in the moment, caught up on social media, caught up on people's opinion. I want you to right now be in your own word. Relate this to yourself. Don't think about your friend Jessica, relationship or anything. I want you to relate this to yourself. You feel just sit down, sit down. Just, you're like this, like nothing is happening. Your husband is good, children are good. Everything is going well. You just want to know who he's talking to. I've related to myself. I'm like, I don't care. If he gives me the option to, of course I will be curious. But if he doesn't, he just come, his phone is there. I can use his phone quickly when I want to check something on media. I can use his phone to like, do anything without him saying, leave my phone, leave my phone, don't touch my phone. You understand me? You don't even think about it. Is this, does this happen to you? Like it, it happened to me. I don't even, I don't think about it. Okay. So that, that is for that. Okay. It has to give you reason to want to look cool. If it doesn't have reason, why would you want to? Do you understand? Like people just talking. I don't get. Let's keep going. Don't let that phone wreck your home. Don't let that phone wreck your home. Sometimes women want to find out, well, who's he talking to? What's he doing? Listen, if a man is a good provider and a good father. If a man is a good provider and a good father. Remember, you know that the equation, you are in. She's not including you both in this. It's like, if he's a provider and you are a bum, you can take it. If he's a good provider, he can pay the rent and you can't, you can take it. Don't look at his phone. If he's taking good care of his children and neglecting you, don't look at his phone. If he's good with his kids and he's not cool with you, don't look at his phone. So long as he provides your eating, drinking, don't look at this phone. Is that what we say? Like, oh my gosh. Don't let that phone wreck your home. So many times. It keeps going back for some reason. Out. Jesus. Well, who's he talking to? What's he doing? Listen. As my father once said, the father.
Stop worrying about what he is doing. As my father once said that if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. And then what you're going to do when you get... When you say go looking for trouble, we are talking about relationship, marriage. Somebody you both live together, you're like one, like two people in one body. Does that make sense? You're like two people striving to become one. Does that make sense? So what is, if you go look for trouble, I'm not every day looking for trouble. If he gives me the reason to look for trouble, I am going to look for trouble. Do you get it? If he's like, oh, I can't find the trouble. Did you see the trouble? I'm like, oh, honey, I'm going to I'll join you to find the trouble. Let's look for the trouble together. Do you get it? We're definitely going to look for the trouble together. If you don't give me any reason to go look for trouble, I'm not looking for trouble. This is marriage. This is not you and your siblings. This is not you and your colleague. This is not you. Sometimes you ignore your colleague. You're like, I don't care. You know, you don't care. But with this, it's different. Relationship with sexual relationship is different from what your father said. When you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. Okay, this is a different thing. It went back again. Take that extra time that you want to snoop. No, I need to say. If you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. And then what you're going to do when you get a hold of it. Take that extra time that you want to snoop and invest it in yourself. Go work out. Work with your children. You hear what she said? She said, take that extra time. That you're going to go snoop on your husband or in your husband's phone. Spend that time on yourself. Not with the man, on yourself. Because remember, you are landlord and tenant. You are just a slave. He is the king. So you have no right to go check in the king's phone. If you know the king is offending you, you cannot take the king's rule. My darling, go to the gym. Spend that time on your children because the king have other children to attend to. Are you getting it? This is the information they pass every day on social media. If you are coming on social media, you don't have your own filter to filter. I want to see to self which one. You know, Nigeria will not filter. Give me filter, make a filter. If you don't have see to see the information you're getting, you're going to be like, She's saying the king doesn't care about you. So long the king cares about his children and all that of his children, remember, it's fine. You go to the gym, go for a walk, look after your children. You don't have to be worried about the king, your husband. Do you get it? So can you imagine the kind of regime marriage this type of a woman and other people are living. And this is the reason why they want to come on social media and tell you to buckle up, tell you to wear something, tell you to act some way, tell you to like, oh, how you should live your life. Do you understand now the level, the level of, I can't speak that these people are living. Let's keep Listen. That you want to snoop and invest it in yourself. Go work out. Work Go and work out. Make your Go and play with the kids you and leave the king alone. Let the king do whatever he likes. Which you cannot measure. Stop going to look for trouble. Stop because going to look for the king's trouble. Is you going to give the keys to your kingdom to the outside woman? Let that. You heard it. Because if you do that, you're going to give the key to the other women. Because the king is definitely going to walk you out. Remember, you're a bomb. You don't go to work. You don't have money. You cannot pay the bills. You cannot feel the children. You just have to shut up. Because the king is a provider. And he's a good father. You are just there to obey the king. You are there to give babies to the king. You get it. I will give you an example of what this lady She's saying, if this is actually a real thing, so 
leave your husband's phone don't touch it don't go snooping if your husband give you the reason to snoop my darling snoop it i was saying this to my husband yesterday and my husband said oh eh, what if fire they born you see fire burning uh you don't you don't just i'm like there's a way he put it i quickly like honey shut it love shut it i want to say something we're not talking about fire burning in your neighborhood we're not talking about your part your uh, um, your neighbor's garden burning that's not what we're saying about well, that's not what we're talking about we're talking about your house they born there is fire in your home it's like somebody telling you oh uh, you have three bedroom one of the bedroom the smoke is coming out it's burning are you like i don't need to go i don't want to get burnt i'm just gonna stay here with my children the room can burn if the room burn down remember the room you are is going down too it's like ignoring a part of your home burning down and you're like i don't want to go snoop i don't want to have a look if your husband gives you the reason to snoop snoop it's better you snoop and know what is going on than the fire consuming you unexpectedly because you were so i don't care i don't want the fire to come close to me see real life example okay let's leave the fire now let's talk about a human okay not fire anymore human if your husband you knew something was wrong you just like oh mama america said don't snoop and you ignore it the smoke is powerful the smell the heat of the fire is powerful but you ignore it and say i don't want because mama america said i should uh, i should not snoop one day you're gonna be kicked out one day another woman is going to come home looking like this good morning i came with my husband and your husband is going to be like okay this is the second wife so which one is better the heartbreak the unexpected destruction the see me see you consumption the see me see you chukan inside my eyes and i by myself because he gives me remember you don't just go check a man's phone he gives you the reason too does that make sense by let's give example another example now you hear you're sleeping I don't know. I don't know. yeah i know it's a, the moment you wake up and so say honey honey okay I'll call you later. That's all. yeah you're okay you see this behavior and his phone is ringing oh my phone oh oh it's my friend from work you're like take it easy love what's going on okay a text message come on he sees the light flicks and immediately he just grabbed the phone and it's, it's looking it's just you know it's acting weird he's going out he's grabbing his phone because you know men they cannot hide it it's like it's like a woman we can have bomb in here like you know but i don't want to really pronounce it because of social media facebook you have boom inside your phone you just do like it's nothing you leave it there you don't, you know nobody will even suspect you have something big but men doesn't have to do that so when he's doing all this strange behavior, grabbing his phone, acting so funny, deleting, and you, you're like, what is this? In your human head, unless you're a robot, in your human mind, because you love this person, not only you love him, you live with him. Not only you live with him, you are like one husband and wife, a partner. This is your man that you chose acting all this funny your tiny big human mind it's gonna be like what the heck is he hiding okay you find the right time to go through his phone it's like your children do you get it i know he's a grown man he will do the same like what are you hiding let me see your phone he because he's a man will grab the phone from you and say let me see forcefully give it to me now but you can do that what do you do you snoop so when people tell you don't go snoopy my darling get a safe and make sure every information you're hearing add it to your life make an assumption 
think before you act towards it. Know every information on social media relates to you. Take the ones that are for you, that will literally work for you, and put the remaining one in the bin. You're a human. There's a blood flowing in your vein. You cannot, because this woman said it, because she's in her 60s or in her 70s, you think that's how it works. That's not how it works these days. Remember, relationship is different for everybody. Relationship experience is different for everybody. My man is not like your man. If he gives you the reason to my darling Snoop, because this guy, what this lady said is easier said than done. If I have the same rights to do whatever I like, that would be fair in our society today. If he can go out, I cannot snoop. He can do whatever he likes, I cannot snoop. Then I should be able to do whatever I like and he cannot snoop. So it doesn't ruin our marriage. It should be far versar. We should be able to do the same thing. So I can be the bigger one and he can be the shady one. Is that what you're telling me? I should be the one to bear the burden and the pain and the heartbreak and the frustration and the betrayal. So he gets to go to work and come back and be happy and I don't get to snoop. If it was me acting strange and funny and stupid, he can literally grab my phone and look at it and search it and say, who is Paul? Why are you talking to Peter? Who is Osawame do Zoe girl, Osawame whatever, Osato or whatever? Who is this person? So he can ask me and I cannot snoop because I don't have the power, the masculine, okay, to grab the phone and do stuff so they don't say i'm a naggy wife i'm a crazy one but what i do i snoop i snoop to know what's going on because if it was him it would forcefully take my phone he would take the phone from me and check just because i'm a woman i'm home right if he's a provider i should take it if he's a good father i should take him so he can be good to the children and not to me. And you expect me to still be under the roof. Then he should be a father and let me go and find my own man. Because I can be a mother and a lover at the same time. I can be a normal wife and a shower prostitute at the same time. I can be everything. I can be his friend and his worst enemy. I can be his peace, happiness, and his nightmare at the same time. So if you're saying he can go out and I cannot snoop, then let him also give me the freedom. Let's agree and say, you can also do whatever you like. I have no right to snoop. You are talking about 1964, 1968, 90 or 100, where women don't have the right to work. Where they cannot proudly come out and say, I have my own money. It's changed now. This video is not for the 20th century. No. It's not approved by most women. Because you know what, mama? I make my own money. I've been making my own money since I've been under my mother's roof. I have never for once depend on a man. Never, not even now that I am married. I believe, sort yourself out. I'm good, baby. If you have extra to give to me, I will be so grateful. But you know what? It's the reason why I work because I'm not used to it. It's not, it was not the environment I grew up in. So he can do whatever he likes. I just have to look after the children. I can be a lover. I can be a fucker too. I know how to fuck really good, really well. I want to be that for him. If he let me and not treat me like just a mother and a nobody, I can, I, I can, he can do whatever I like and I just stay at home and go to the gym, look after the children, make him nice meal and just be a normal woman. Make sure, my darling, I told you guys every time, set your standard. 
it doesn't matter how high your standards are the man who can afford it will come by okay. marriage is more than a marriage it's more than the name marriage is the environment of that marriage that really counts not the name i'm married many married people there are single women and mothers who are happier than you you don't want to be in that situation your heart will break every day you will worry about a grown man you will stress over somebody who should be your best friend you will stress and begin to grow hate towards somebody you should love most in your life i can't tell you how if this is me how i will feel i cannot imagine my husband becoming my nightmare you will so much despise them the way they treat you you just want to because he treats you so bad my darling be a provider for yourself don't find yourself in that environment you don't have to shut up because you don't make your own money you don't have to be foolish because you don't make your own money help yourself because they, it's easy for them to say oh look after your children if your heart broken you cannot look after your children you don't get it i've been there <laughs> if you have mental health issues you cannot be a good mother i'm telling you, you want to but you can't unfortunately you can't there are some things that is beyond your power i'm telling you i've been there my darling you can't i've been heartbroken because of this my husband the first time i tell you guys all the time the first time he broke my heart the first time in my life i've ever felt heartbreak and I, I never knew that's how it feels i almost died i cry every day i got really depressed about it i didn't know that was actually depression i almost died yes my daughter was less than two years she could still remember oh mama you were crying a lot i almost died a woman who is heartbroken cannot be a good mother i struggle oh my gosh i want to be but i couldn't i want to go out and do things but i just couldn't imagine living under the same roof with a man you love so much oh he come when he comes back from work all he do is where's my food Oh, that's a hard decision. Hope you're okay. Oh, that's fine. You're good, isn't it? Oh, okay. My food. And when he finishes eating, he goes straight to bed because he's so tired. How would you feel? This is the moment where you want to kiss and like, oh, I miss you, my darling. I was just at work. I was really thinking about you. How are you and the children? I can't wait to hug you tonight and happy when the kids are sleeping. And your smile. Your smile is just like this, but literally it's at the back of your ears. You feel so happy and loved. No matter how you look, no matter your behavior, this person loves you the way you are. It's the best thing in life. Living with a so-called husband and he's your worst nightmare. The moment he opens the door, you just want to like, oh, Jesus, what's going to happen again tonight? Is he going to yell? Is he going to treat you like you're nobody? Is he going to tell you the kids are dirty? You didn't clean the house? Is he going to, Is my dad, you don't want to be there. I hope. You choose what is good for you and choose the right man that suits you. You will enjoy your life. You will feel so comfortable. You will be so comfortable with yourself and your life that even if you have, people think, oh, she's so, she, she doesn't have good manners and she's just a bad attitude. You'll be so comfortable in your own skin. You don't even notice if anything is going on. They're just like, bo -bo 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 -bo, it's noise in your ears. You know what? Because you have a man who loves you and take you for who you are. I hope this video helped you. Take the ones that are for you. Bring the ones that are not for you. Remember, it is 20th century. It's not 1900. It's different now. Women have choice. We choose who we give this to. We choose who we open our leg to. We choose who we let touch us. 
We have choice now. We can choose to stay or to go, to be better or to be bad, to be worse or to improve. You have choice. And that choice, I want you to make the right one and be happy with yourself no matter what. Take care, people. Have to go now. Mwah! Love you guys always. You guys are absolutely amazing. Jesus Christ, thank you for sharing the video. Somebody, this video is going to help them. I want you to share it and make sure that you think something inside. Take something inside. No, all of it. Take the ones that are for you. Take the ones that are not for you. Put it in the bin. Okay. And please share the video. You guys are perfect. Thank you. Mwah! Thank you guys for watching. Always and turning up for me. You guys are amazing. Bye. Take care.